Hi mathematicians, today we are going to be reviewing this task that you just gave an attempt to. So we're going to go through and see what the task is. Um, there are 2.54 centimeters in an inch, 12 inches in a foot, and 5,280 feet in a mile. Which expression gives you the number of centimeters in a mile? So an expression is just numbers or numbers with operations. And we want to figure out what is the expression that tells us the number of miles, number of centimeters in one mile? If that's the case, we want to get the number of centimeters per mile. Okay. That's what we want to equal. And if we think about this, we actually need to uh, write down some rates okay so if I start off with centimeters per inch the number of centimeters per inch I'm just focusing on units right now because I want to get centimeters per mile in terms of units so if I go centimeters per inch that's centimeters divided by inches I will have to multiply that by, sorry to take care of this one, I'll have to multiply it by this rate right here. But in order for me to not have centimeters any longer, I need to, um, I need to, but, okay, so I don't want to not have centimeters, so I have to keep centimeters right there. In order for me to, uh, to have, if I'm dividing by inches, that means here I'm going to multiply by inches. So I'll put inches right here, inches per foot. And now, inches divided by inches is 1. So that unit is now centimeters per foot. Now I'll multiply by the next one. And in this case, I would have feet here. Because if I'm dividing by feet, I have to multiply by feet. And then I'd have feet per mile. So then feet divided by feet is 1. And my units end up with centimeters per a mile. If that's the case, now that's the unit that I need to end up with. Therefore, now I put my numbers in. So I have 2.54 centimeters for every 1 inch times 12 inches per one foot times 5,280 feet per one mile. So if I'm just looking at the numbers themselves because the units have already um, been written out to get this cent centimeters per mile, I would be multiplying 2.54 by 12 multiplied by 5,280 all divided by 1 times 1 times 1 and 1 times 1 times 1 is 1 so therefore this is equivalent to if you divide an entire number by 1 you end up with that number so this is the expression that I should get 2.54 times 12 times 5,280. And if we look here, using the commutative property, meaning I change the order in which of the factors that I'm multiplying with, it doesn't change the result. So like 5 times 12 is the same as 12 times 5. This expression B is what you should have selected. Okay, the next task that you're going to uh, participate in is going to ask you to sort these uh, these different scales to see which are equivalent. So the very first thing you're going to do is we're going to um, pause the video, we're going to get paper, and we're going to copy down what these are in terms of uh, just a list. So you're just making a list, you're not copying them in the order like just the way it looks here, you're making a list. So we're going to make a list of all of the scales, and then um, we'll talk about what our task is after that. All right, so 
as as I'm saying this, you can copy them down, and you should be able to write them down as I'm saying them. The first is one centimeter to ten meters. One centimeter to ten meters. Okay. The next is one centimeter to one meter. The next is one millimeter to one meter. The next is one centimeter to one kilometer. The next is one inch to one thousand inches. The next is one foot to one mile. The next is one inch to one mile. The next is one inch to eight feet. The next is one half centimeter to five hundred meters. The next is one eighth of an inch to one foot. The next is one to ninety six. The next is one to one hundred. The next is one to five thousand two hundred eighty. The next is one to sixty three thousand three hundred sixty. And the last one is one to one hundred thousand. That's a one with five zeros. Okay, now that you've copied these down, your task is to now create a list of equivalent scales. Each list, each list should have at least two equivalent scales. You may have more than two that are equivalent to each other, but one that uh, each list should have at least two equivalent scales. So what you're going to do is is think about this. Remember that 1 to 96, for example, means that for every one unit that I draw, that represents 96 lengths, its size in real life, so the actual size. So let's go to an example of... one inch to eight feet. Okay, let's think about this. If I draw one inch, my question is how many inches are there in eight feet? So, I know that there are 12 inches in one foot. And if I want to get to 8 feet, I'm multiplying both of these numbers by 8 by making equivalent rates. And I get 96 inches. So essentially, I have 96 inches here. What am I multiplying 1 by? to get to 96 inches. 96. Well, this right here is an equivalent scale because I'm also multiplying 1 by 96. That's just one example. So you can write that as an equivalent scale. And your task is to find the other equivalent scales. You may find that this is helpful, that this chart 
of conversions for measurements is helpful and please keep utilizing this chart right here as you work through these scales during this task.